Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In the last videos and the last lectures we saw about selenium, the history and the flavors of selenium. Now we would be doing a comparison study after which you will be able to analyze why should we actually use selenium. Before going on to the comparison, I would like to ask you about what are the different flavors of automation, you know, or different frameworks for available for automation testing. Yes, we have two popular frameworks. One is Selenium and the other one is QTP. As you might be aware that QTP, also known as UFT, is a tool or a software provided by HP. Now let's compare and see which is better to use from a perspective of a developer or a person or a company. So, Selenium versus QTP. As we have already told you that Selenium is open source and is free to use. Whereas QTP is a commercially paid software. So it means you need to buy it before you can actually use it. The second point comes, you know, how actually you can integrate or to what extent can you, you know, uh, add up the application or you can have add-ons for a particular uh, testing framework. So Selenium is highly extensible because being open source, you know, we can club it with different versions available. We can merge it with TestNG. We can merge it with JUnit. We can merge it with n number of, you know, options available. We can have a Maven build when developing through Eclipse. But in QTP, we have limited, you know, capabilities because it's paid, it's maintained and, and operated by HP. The next is, Selenium, you know, has the best part that it can run on different browsers. By different browser, we mean that we can even have mobile browsers in which we can run Selenium. QDB is actually, uh, you know, made to run on these three browsers, Firefox, IE and Chrome. We agree that these are the majority of the browsers on which people are using, but still for an added advantage or added capability, Selenium has a upper hand over here. Then. The Selenium is supported on multiple platforms. You can use it on Mac, you can use it on Windows, you can use it on Linux, whereas QTP can only be used on Windows. After this comes the next part. I've already told you that uh, Selenium can work on different mobile browsers also. So Selenium also supports mobile devices. Yes, I, you know, we can use QTP on mobile devices, but for that we need a different tool that is HP UFT Mobile or which was known as Mobile Cloud for QTP. Then when, uh, whenever we are executing on Selenium, we can even execute if the browser is minimized. But in case of QTP, you know, the application on that is under test or the application that is being tested should be available or running on the desktop. It can execute in parallel using some frameworks, we can have like Selenium Grid, but that needs a high experience and high knowledge. And in QTP, we have an advantage. If we have, if we are using QC, QC is a quality center as it is known as. This QC is basically a, a test management tool. If we are having QC, then we can execute in parallel. Then the second last point is, it can only be used to test mobile uh, or web applications, but QDP can test web and desktop applications. So if you are developing a desktop application and are looking for an automation fr framework for desktop, then you have to use QTP. Then it has no built-in object repository. Now what is object repository? So anything that is visible on a page is an object. Selenium has no object repository, whereas QTB comes with some built-in object repository. So to conclude, QTB is paid, it's commercial, you know, it has a commercial value and it can't be extended beyond a particular limit. But it's easy for a non-technical or non-developer person to work on it. On the other hand, Serenium is free, it's open source, you know, it is uh, more visible and it's more uh, usable on mobile and web applications, which are the future. So on these particular frameworks, we can say that Selenium has an added advantage at the cost of money because QTB or uh, you know mobile code or all these things are paid softwares. So Selenium being free has an added advantage. So now let's see the advantages of Selenium in the upcoming video.